Plus and good day, everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be a quick series preview as we look at the Mountain Division's top two teams facing off. It was a four-point difference in the regular season between the Utah Grizzlies and the Rapid City Rush. It's also going to be a goaltender battle for the ages as well as Lucas Park, who faced almost 150 shots in the first round, and Trent Minor, who faced almost 200 shots in the first round, are going to be facing off against each other in this series. A battle of two of the hottest goaltenders potentially in this postseason. And Charlie Edward Doust continued his raging season at 3.43 uh, penalty minutes per game, standing up for his mates, and 1.71 points per game this far in the postseason, according to the great ECHL stat. Luke Martin's also at 0 0.71 points per game. So those two have been providing the offensive punch on the defensive end as well, jumping up on the plays. And, of course, Benjamin Tardif, just like the regular season, has been kicking butt in the postseason, and he's almost at two points per game. Trey Bradley's at 1.43 and .86. Uh, for Zekos, Pfizer is at .71, and Betts is at .71 as well. The newcomers that came in at the end of the season for the Utah Grizzlies are all doing well. And then again, sorry if Zach uh, Zekos, if that's mispronounced differently, I'm fair with certain names. But I really always love watching goaltender battles, so this is going to be a series to watch for me because Trent Minor was playing like a bat out of hell in that first round. If you want to go back and watch that series recap, go ahead and please do that, and please subscribe down below to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. And also, Lucas Park has been playing very good, the guy that was drafted by the LA Kings in the third round. So this is, a like I said, for somebody like me that loves watching great goaltender matches up, matches up against each other I should say this is going to be a very fun series to see uh when it comes to uh the Rapid City Rudge Zolsdorf had a great first playoff series both Helgesons did more from the defensive end for the Helgesons and then Quinn Richards also did very good on both ends Brooks obviously was the points man in the first round as along with Gravel Coda Nelson, Shabbat, and Pedersen as well, who was at 0.8 points per game. And even Bayless was at 0.8 points per game in the first round as well. So they really did get the depth scoring in that first round as well as 0.5 points per game went all the way down to Keegan Iverson. So obviously, <clears throat> if they can continue to get depth scoring, that's going to be t key Excuse me, against the Utah Grizzlies and particularly against Trent Minor because you're going to have to get some dirty but good goals and you're going to have to get goals and pressure from all throughout the lineup to be able to score against minor it seems in this postseason who has a whopping almost 940 save percentage in this postseason so talk about uh, a lot of the coaches around the league say if you can have around a 920 in the playoffs that's golden and that's golden bread for you to be able to have a good postseason if you go and do that well almost a whopping 940 for Trent Minor and when it comes to uh, Lucas Park he is above that golden 920 at a 925 and has been spectacular as well uh, playing this postseason in every single game. Miners played in five, I believe it was, of the first set of the first seven of the postseason and has almost faced 200 shots. So, I mean, it's ridiculous how good he's doing. And the other goaltender for the Grizzlies is Peyton Jones, a former Penn State standout. So, I think this series has the potential to go all the way. I mean, I think a lot of these series do, just like the Reading Royals, and I think Newfoundland does, and some of the other next round series as well. It's the battle of the first two teams in the division. There's probably going to be some round and pounding. I'm sure there will be a little bit of stuff after the whistle. Obviously, you don't want to get those stupid after the whistle penalties unless you actually punch and fight, guys. You don't want to just be doing that bear hugging and tugging. Uh, it's not going to help anybody. But minor, I think, versus Park is going to be a great goaltender matchup. This is almost a flip coin series for me. Uh, I do think when it comes to the overall offensive push from both sides of the puck, meaning their forwards and their defense, the Utah Grizzlies have a little bit more there. Obviously, Witchers and Zoldorf and the Helgesons can provide a little bit more, but those guys are more of the defensive guys, same with Fryer. So it's going to be interesting to see if Rapid City is going to continue to be able to get that depth offense, because that's going to be paramount if they don't get that depth offense from their forwards like they did in round one in round two. I don't think they're going to be able to win in the end, but I think this is really a coin flip series. But because Miner literally was hot as a firecracker in that first round, and <clears throat> their their studs are carrying Bradley, Tardif, plus Zekos, Pfizer, and Betts, the newcomers, 
have really been great in the playoffs this far. So I think all that combined with the fact that they have the defenseman of the year and Dallas Martin's been great, I, I'm going to take the Grizzlies, but it's by like that much because I think this series is really a coin flip, but the Grizzlies just have more of the offensive punch from both ends with Dallas, the defenseman of the year, that's able to do both things and still get back on the play, will stand up for his team. There's nobody on Rapid City that's like that from the back end. Uh, and then they also have Tardif, Bradley. The, the 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 thing that's different with Rapid City compared to Utah is they do have more proven depth offensive players. Well, obviously, Zekos, Pfizer, and Betts are all new to the league. Uh, you would like Penner and other guys, Manic, and maybe those guys to kind of pick up their play. Brazan as well, if you're Grizzlies fans. Because, obviously, these other guys are rooks and new to the league. Only played a few games in the regular season. So, you would like that. With Rapid City, I give the favorite there. But I think the combined great goaltending of the Grizz with Minor, Parrick's going to, it's going to be a goalie battle, I think, in a lot of these games. And I feel like there's just going to be more push from Utah to be able to get over the hump. And that's kind of what happened in this battle to the death of the regular season with the division. There was just a little bit more oomph in the skates of the Grizzlies in the end and Miner's team and Tardif's team and Dow's team compared to the uh, Grizzlies and Brooks, Gravels, Codas, and, of course, Lucas Parks team. So I, that's why, by a smidge, I will go with the Utah Grizzlies in this series. But this has been a preview to the Utah Grizzlies versus the Rapid City Rush. It's going to be a hell of a series, and by a smidge, I will go with the Utah Grizzlies. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please do subscribe down below. We're up above on the Easy Juice Widget. Keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.